hey, we're just a snippet of Squanch Games and we're here to talk about High on Life, our new action, adventure, comedy, Metroidvania, first person shooter that uh, is nothing at all, a little bit like Microsoft Excel. All right, you're a bounty hunter now. You gotta help me rescue my friends. They're Gatlians just like me. That's our game, High on Life. Pretty insane. Uh, there's a lot to talk about. Let's dive in. So Justin, you're typically known for working in animation. What brings you into the world of games? Why are you in the world of games? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm obsessed with games, have been my whole life. Always had ideas, always had, you know, things I would love to make, but just never thought I could ever step into that arena because I don't, I lack. I lack all the skills needed. <laughs> you don't know how other games than, work. Other than like creative uh, direction, creative ideas, like like other than that, I lack all the skills to execute. But that's why, like that's part of why you want to start Squanch, right? Is like to be able to have an idea like that and let it grow to something amazing. And, 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 and to be able to be, be creatively yeah. um, free. I wanted to make games that I wanted to play. And that was sort of the spark that just lit the fire of Squanch games and then we shipped Trover and we shipped Accounting Plus, and now we're on this absolutely dream game. This is like our real legit swing at like a proper, you know, like we're indie, but like this is like our triple A, like, yeah. or is it triple I for, like for indie? Yeah. We're triple I. Yeah, 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 this is a triple I game. So the story of our game mostly follows like Earth being invaded by this evil criminal cartel of aliens who come in and kidnap humans and start selling them on the black market like they're drugs. And you're the one human who has to team up with a talking gun and stop them. And when you select a, a cartel leader that you're gonna go after, like it opens the, the portal door <laughs> to that world that they're in. Eric, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the worlds of the game, the art style of the game, the visuals. Yeah, yeah. So we spent a lot of time kind of constructing and creating these awesome alien worlds. Uh, myself and uh, Mikey Spano, who is our art director, him and I worked like a ton on the sort of art direction of the game. He really kind of landed in this space, which was kind of Blade Runner meets the Muppets. <laughs> so we're trying to capture that feeling with all of our characters, and especially our aliens. Uh, and then each world is its own kind of unique flavor, right? I think some of the ideas came from very kind of core thoughts. Like we were like, we want to have an awesome alien, like drug dense spa on an asteroid. And yeah, what makes me really excited is the sort of really clear and like, it's almost deceivingly simple narrative, right? Save the earth, humans are drugs, talking guns. Ta -da. So Alec, what you know? What who are the guns? What's their deal? The guns are these talking alien Gatlians. Um, they they're all shaped somewhat like a gun you'd find on Earth, but they've evolved to be just gun-like in their own way. And so uh, this race of Gatlians each has their own unique personality, their unique set of abilities, and you're going to be rescuing them from this evil alien cartel. And together, you got to stop the bad guys. And get more Gatlians. Yeah, get more, collect more Gatlians. Yeah, a lot of players are gonna have very different experiences depending on what gun they favor. Yeah, you can kind of um, pick your favorite companion to have out a lot and hear their dialogue, yeah. be part of different reliable. different different uh, dialogue scenes and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Look at us, blasting away! And sometimes you can unlock the guns in a different order than another player has. That's so when right. you go back through a level, you'll see things that you would have been able to access if you'd done it in the other order. That's you so can come back. That's a yeah. huge one. All right, so we've talked about this crazy good game that sounds amazing. Why should people be excited to play it? As a studio, we are attempting to bring a-level adult comedy into video games. Something I love about Squanch is we would put a lot of effort into things that a lot of other studios wouldn't even bother with, like, like a single small joke that five players might find. Well, okay, well now, well now I sorta, now I can. I love that stuff. I, I love like edge casing and like, it's like, what makes you remember a game. Yeah, like, like if a player's trying to break the game in a certain way and then you, you have an answer for that for them, that is like such a memorable and amazing uh, moment. 
it, it's almost like watching TV, but the viewer is able to reach into the TV and, and poke a thing, and the character has to respond to that. And there's so much fun to be had for the you most part. You can skip part. it all. We worked really hard on it's it if you want to skip it. Yeah, if you want to just like miss out on like, you know, Yeah, if you're like coolest... a big dummy and you don't want to play the game at all, <laughs> that's fine. We're not going to judge you. We're just going to be upset. <laughs> Small Grundle concert. We have with us today our hey, uh, hit nice music house you got here. Gregory. Real ritzy, way better than my bench. Oh wow, you really made yourself at home, huh? Oh, there you are. Who's this weirdo, and why is he setting up a fucking huge alien computer in our living room? Okay, first of all, that alien computer is a very expensive and surprisingly operational bounty five thousand. So. uh... You're welcome. A what, 5,000? Your kid here thinks they're gonna be a big bad bounty hunter. I set them up with some fancy equipment, so they're letting me have the house when they die. Kid? They're not my kid. I'm their sister. How old do you think I am? Just hairball. I don't know what kind of alien you are or how fast you age. I'm just making my best guesses here. You were only gone five minutes, and you already told some random alien he could move in with us. That's what you did. Look, I know it's a lot all at once, but we need him to save your species, so do you think you could put up with him for a bit? Well, yeah, if it's gonna help, sure. I'm sorry, everything I've ever known just got flipped upside down, so I don't know what's weird or not anymore. I, I don't like getting up to take shit, so I'm just gonna shit right here in the couch later. I don't have to shit right now, but... Just a heads up. Like that. Was that weird or was that normal? It was weird, right? It was weird. I mean, I really, I can't tell. I think I, I need a minute to slow down and process everything. Also, I'm still tripping. Your mom's nice. Anyway, come talk to me when you're ready to get down to business. I'm home. Oh, oh, wonderful. You're home. I've been, w I, look at the dinner's cold I prepared for us. Where were you? I was just doing smuffle guffins. You know, smuffle guff, like just regular old plain smuffle guffins. You knew this. I don't think I could stay married to somebody who just blatantly does smuffle guffins. Well, I don't so know. So what, we just jump into the deep end and start hunting down G3 officers or, or what? I'm not sure you're ready just yet. I mean, they don't let you fuck the glumpers at glumpies without a level four fuck pass, do they? What? I, I, I don't know. Well, they don't. Maybe I should send you out on a little test run first, eh? Uh, okay, sure. I've got just the thing. A small-time local gangster by the name of Nine Torg. She took my favorite knife. She's got an operation out in the slums. Maybe you kill her and get my knife back. <laughs> then we'll talk. Maybe take you out to Glumpy's to celebrate. All right, so we, we just head out to the slums? No, moron. You gotta use the Bounty 5000 to initiate a bounty. That's what I went through all the trouble of setting it up for. Okay, Jesus! <laughs> yeah, shit. Normally that thing will warp you close to the bounty, but, uh... I guess it ain't working. So what do we do? Calm down. The bounty's right here in Blim. You mind just heading out on foot? The slums gateway ain't too far from here. I'll get the Bounty 5000 all fixed up while you're gone. Yeah, Agent sure. All right, let's Agent go, Bounty Hunter. Secrets revealed. Ancient secrets revealed. Their secrets and their agent. And we're gonna reveal them. Just, just watch. What are you, confused? This ain't walk science, kid. Go head out to the city, get into the slums, kill Nine Torg, and get... Don't forget to get my knife! We're looking for the gateway to the slums, I guess? Look, it shouldn't be too far. L listen, just follow the waypoint! That's why you're wearing that fancy suit, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's got the augmented reality thing on it, right? Water supply has clearly been poisoned again. 
again by Gary the Poisoner, and the mandatory sexual repression chips that we put in our elderly citizens have once again backfired, this time making them far, far better than ever. However, there's something plaguing our city far worse than the about going down to the slums. Yeah, this is a maintenance only shaft, so scram! Okay, that's gotta be the way into the slums. Here, let me sweet talk these two, um, weirdos. Hey, uh, Kitka, excuse me, can we get our, uh, we need to make our way into the slums, please? No. Hold on, so you really wanna get into the slums, huh? Then settle the bet for oh, us. Come on, come on, don't, don't, don't make him answer this one. No, room. I wanna know. It's fine, we'll, we'll help. Okay, great. If you saw us at the bar, which of us would you ask out? Uh, the blue guy. Exactly. That's what I figured you'd say. Yeah, everyone always says him. Hey, don't feel bad, man. You're still plenty hot. I'm just hotter. Blue's a hotter color. That's that's science. I know. I know. I know. I just I just wish one time someone would say I'm hotter. You know, I put so much work in. I watched all those skin care tutorials, and I got surgery, so I don't have to poop anymore. That's your problem. It should be effortless. Everyone can sense all that desperation, all the sadness. It's just radiating from you. But me, I'm just true blue, all natural hot, baby. Is it true? Am I, am I just really a lost cause? Be honest. Yeah, you, you can't match up to the blue guy. Look, I'm sorry. That's just how it is. God, you don't have to be so blunt about it. I, I'm pretty fragile, you know? Don't worry about him. He's weak and disgusting. He doesn't get what it's like for us hot people. Sorry for making you talk to him. Can I, uh, make it up to you by letting you use my door anytime you want? Free passage in and out of the slum. Well, really? That, that would be amazing, actually. Oh, oh, have fun using his door, because mine's shut forever for you. Yeah, so what do you think now, huh? You still think I'm ugly? Oh, yeah, well, you, I, I'm ugly, but I have a door you can't use. Oh, sorry, really, but I guess it's fine. You can use, just use the other door. I think we handled that as best we could, you know? I've never been topside. Oh, Lord. Oh, it's a topsider. Not interested. Hey, oh my god, I broke my fucking leg coming down that pipe. Be careful. Sorry to hear that. Well, well, <laughs> look what we got here. Fresh meat. Hey there, fresh meat. Welcome to the slums, fresh meat. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Fucking kid. What's wrong, fresh meat? You scared of a little kid? Eh, yeah, I'm a little kid. Look at me. Look at me. Eh, you're scared of me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Come on. He's just a kid. D don't shoot him. Oh, you don't want to shoot me just because your gun said not to. Just because you're your little gun. Oh, but you look, look how shootable I look. I look so shootable. I am not shooting a kid. Go ahead. Do it. Shoot me, fresh meat. Shoot me. Ah, you shot me. I'm dead. Eh. All right, there. Are you happy now? Well, I, I didn't think we'd be allowed to kill him. You know, normally, killing children in games isn't isn't allowed, but he's dead. We killed this kid. Are, are you happy now? We killed a kid. A kid is dead now. There goes our E for everybody rating. Attention, Blue City citizen. You are wearing an unregistered bounty. Shit, we gotta the take down these drones.
So it finally happened. Someone killed my son. Y your son? Yep. The kid up there who always calls everyone fresh meat. We are so sorry. Listen, don't get used to that. We're not killing any more kids. I'm drawing the line, so savor it. Enjoy it. It happened. Tuck it away in the old memory book. No, it's fine. He was 30 years old, so don't feel too bad. 30 years old is still adolescence for our species, but it's not as bad as shooting like a five-year-old or something. So don't worry, you just did regular murder. And I warned him over and over. I said, don't sit up there calling strangers fresh meat or some gun-toting psychopath is gonna shoot you dead in cold blood. And you went and did it. Good for you. Anyway, please just leave me to mourn. Jesus. Hey, you can't pass through here. It's nine towards turf. Jesus, a hey, What are you doing? You can't do that. Hey, who are you you Oh, shit. Oh, here we go. We're going to have to kill some of these poor foot soldiers to prove ourselves around here. These people think we're weak. Not on my watch. What are you, some kind of bounty hunter? The slums are full, asshole. Yeah, this is nine towards turf. I'm a towards turf. Shit, they're shooting at us. Shoot back. Come on, shoot back. It's going to be so easy to kill you. Nine towards turf. That's real good. One of the toughest enemies in the game, I think. I just want to kill you to make Night Dog happy. Let me kill you to make Night Dog happy. Wow, all right. You we got them all. Yeah, usually these Torgs aren't so hostile. Something must be going on. L let's look around for somebody who can help us. So you, you think maybe there's somebody friendly around here who can help? I mean, maybe try using your scanner, uh, uh, you know, on your on your, on your your suit. Like, sorry, I don't mean to be a backseat driver. I'm just sharing my ideas. I'm so lonely over here. I got all this great information I could share. I'm just sitting here, fishing away, waiting for someone to come over and ask me stuff. I'm just gonna whistle. Hello there, friend. Can I help you? Do you know how we can get to Nine Torg? Buddy, all I know is fish, and I barely know fish. But let's just pretend there's a laundromat you can sneak through to get to Sludge Works over there. Are we pretending, or is there really a laundromat? Come on, kid, take the hint. Either we're pretending, or Nine Torg's goons kill me for squealing. Okay, I got it. We're pretending. Oh, Christ, just follow that path along the sludge. So, uh, how do you like living down here in the slums? It's sort of colorful down here, at least. What? Are you serious? This is one of the worst places anyone can live. You can't see that just by looking at it? It's more sludge than anything else, and the sludge is toxic. Oof, sorry. Yeah, that sludge does look pretty awful. No, the sludge is the best part. It's the quickest way out. Just hop in there and you got a one-way ticket out of here. Imagine if we didn't have the sludge. Then we'd really be trapped. Anyway, yeah, living here is bad. Hey, thanks for the info, uh, wise fisherman. We'll see you later. Have a good day now. Oh, hey, you want to see a cool party trick I used to do? Aim me at those spinny platforms. Come on, come on, give it a shot. It'll be fun. Fuck yeah, I told you. Did you see how fun that was? I call it my glob shot. It comes out of my trick hole. All Gatlians have a different kind of trick hole. My, mine does this. Boy, you are learning a lot today, aren't you? Spewing big gloopy globs. Hey, what the fuck? Did he just kill everyone? Hold up, don't shoot. I, I got an idea. It's another trick up my little slimy sleeve. Try hitting him with my glob shot. Take your time and aim right. You're gonna- Whoa, perfect shot! You fucking nailed it! How sick was that? Whew, okay, I gotta recharge. 
It doesn't take too long, but it's a little longer when there's enemies nearby, you know? My, my, my body gets too tense. It's, it's like trying to piss when someone's watching, you know? Torque. Let's keep moving. Hey, careful with the merchandise. Whoa, whoa, hold up a bit. Let's listen. Up and everything. They're gonna be here any minute. Just, just patient. Oi, fuck you! I'm sick of this. I want to tear through someone's guts. Oh, I think they're talking about Jean's knife. Ah, fuck you! Got it, freak. We've had enough of your bullshit. Huh? Yeah. Who's it's your there? Fault. Who are you? Uh, hey, hello there, friends. Oh, I, I think it's the buyer. Hey, are you the buyer? No, I'm just here to do my laundry. It's it's even clean. I just, I'm a laundry head. Can't stop washing stuff over hey, here. This room's off limits. Everything you need is in the front. Get out of here. Good luck with your laundry. I really thought that was going to be the buyer. We don't know what they sound like, so we have no way of knowing if it was them or not. Okay, I'll just say it. That plan was dumb. I'm willing to accept some of the blame, but don't do any more dumb stuff. Can we try it again and do it right this time? Okay, this must be the buyer. Hey, uh, buddy, are you the buyer? I'm uh, sorry to disappoint. I am. I'm not. I'm not the buyer. I guess. Then get out of here. Quit wasting our time. Okay, so I don't know if we're playing hard to get or what, but honestly, it was really obvious we were supposed to say we were the buyer. But listen, all right, you know, you did your best. Let's let's just try again, okay? Okay, this must be the buyer. Hey, uh, buddy, are you the buyer? Uh, yeah, we're here to, uh, buy, buy a knife? You guys are selling a knife, yeah? Oh, perfect. You're really late. We were starting to get worried. Just go with it. No shooting. All right, here's the product. A genuine talking knife. I gotta be honest with you. He's a real piece of shit. He's extremely violent. He basically only talks about wanting to kill people in very disturbing ways. Fuck you. I'm gonna carve out your anal cavity. Gonna make it three times as big. Your shit's just gonna drop right out of there. See what I'm talking about? Oh, fuck yes. Thank you. Pleased to meet you. I'm Knifey. Now use me, use me. Let me fucking stop these cocksucking ears. Oh, fuck yes! Fuck. Yes, fuck yes! More, more! I need more stabbing! Hey, you, listen. Point me at your raw, fleshy little tummy and jab me right into there. Let's get all those guts torn up. Let's see that fucking red goop spill out. I can't stop now! Oh, uh, that's a pass for us. Is this really the knife Gene was talking about? Gene? Did you just say Gene? Okay, change of plans. Bring me to Gene. So I can fucking decapitate him! Wait, what? Why? He sent us to rescue you! Oh, that's rich. There's no way I'm forgiving him, though, for leaving me with that fucking Nine Torg. He's dead to me! Huh? You know Nine Torg? We're trying to kill her! Oh, perfect! Finally, we're on the same page! Let's kill Nine Torg, then Gene! Okay, definitely Nine Torg, but l l let's put a pin in the, the whole Gene thing. H how do we get out of here? With my tether ability! I'm more than just a knife, you racist! I can tether too! Look up and latch on! Go. Fucking cool, right? Oh, fuck yeah! Not as good as stabbing, but still pretty good. Well, all right. Where, where to next? The Sludge Works processing plant. Nine Torg was talking about some traitor she had to deal with. Probably another one of her clones. Five Torg or six Torg or whatever. I don't know. There's too many now. There's too many Torgs. How many clones are there? Who the fuck cares? Stop thinking so hard and just look for the big Sludge Works sign. I want to stab somebody. So you uh, mentioned that Gene gave you the Nine Torque? Yeah, he 
Try gamble me away in a game of space poker. That sacrifice Use me on him. I want blood. Oh, hey, there's some Gatorol. That, 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 that'll fill me back up. Whoa, thank Jesus. Okay, feed me that Gatorol, baby. Come on, put it in my little mouth. Do you not see the gap? What are you trying to Oh, mama, mommy, uh, that's the stuff. Oh, sludge work. something but a hey, good work team let's go get nine torque any last words but torque is that nine torque talking Fuck off. i've always said you were the worst torg you know seven torg said the same thing right before i killed her damn you i thought seven torg died in her sleep oh yeah she did she fell asleep on top of 30 bullets that i shot right into her skull and you're next you got this
going out. I'm taking you with me. Stay alive. I think she's going to be for I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs>